The Battle of Bloody Bay was a significant event in the history of the Scottish Isles and the Clan Donald. It was fought between John MacDonald of Isla, Lord of the Isles, and his son Angus Og MacDonald, who ultimately emerged victorious. The battle took place on the coast of Mull, near Tobermory, Scotland, and is believed to have occurred sometime between 1480 and 1483. The background to the conflict was the rift between John and Angus, which was fueled in part by John's secret treaty with England, and his loss of land and titles. John had been stripped of his earldom and other titles by James III of Scotland, and the title of Lord of the Isles was no longer self-assumed but granted by the Crown. This loss of prestige and standing among his own kin, combined with the Lordship's reliance on territorial expansion, led to tensions within the clan. Angus took advantage of these tensions and seized power from his father, forcing him to seek shelter under an old boat. In an attempt to reclaim his power, John gathered his supporters and prepared for battle. His fleet of galleys faced off against Angus's fleet, which was supported by Alan McRory, chief of the clan MacDonald of Clanranald, Donald Gorlich, chief of the clan MacDonald of Sleet, and Donal Mac-Aonhise, Donald Mac Angus, chief of the clan MacDonald of Kepok, as well as the MacLeods of Lewis. In the ensuing battle, Angus emerged victorious and John was defeated. The battle was characterized by fierce fighting, and many clansmen died on both sides. William Dove, chief of the MacLeods, was killed early on, leading the MacLeods to give way. However, a priest named Callum Cleric unfurled the fairy flag, which inspired the MacLeods of Lewis to switch sides and join forces with John. Despite this, the fate of the battle was already decided and Angus's forces emerged victorious. A large number of clansmen were killed, including the bearer of the flag, Mercher Beach, and the twelve men tasked with protecting it. After the battle, Angus took over power from his father and held it for a decade. However, the cost of victory was high, as many clansmen had died and nearly half the clan's fleet had been sunk. This greatly weakened the power of the Lords of the Isles, and Angus himself would be murdered ten years later. The Battle of Bloody Bay marked the end of an era of independent rule for the Lords of the Isles and the beginning of a period of decline for the clan.